match on mat number one. This is the male adult black belt pro division unlimited weight. Introducing first, representing Kyle Teha Association, big hand for Yuri Smoes. His opponent, Victor representing Royce. Tommaso BJJ, big hand for Elliot Kelly. And here we go, we got the competitors coming out onto the mat. And this is a round robin bracket, so the way this is gonna work, Manny Diaz is the other competitor in this bracket. And the way it works is uh, the loser will go up against Manny Diaz, and then the winner out of this match and Manny Diaz will go up against whoever wins this match. I love right. the round robin. Yeah, like last time, I, I do you too. know, last time we called, uh, or I rather, rather I, I called uh, Yuri the underdog. Uh, it seems like now, and now at this tournament, he's actually the champion that everybody else is gunning for. Yeah, yeah, he's the top guy, man. He's the guy that everyone's looking to beat. Elliot is a big dude when you look at him in there. Yeah, Elliot's a big guy. You know, Yuri's good size too, man. Neither of these guys are little guys, dude. They're both good size. And there is uh, about 10 minutes still on the clock. They just really started uh, kind of feeling each other out. Yuri's got real nice judo. We've seen a lot of inside trip takedowns from him in the past. Elliot is no uh, stranger to the submission, uh, uh, sorry, to the to the judo game, to the foot sweep game. He's uh, he's pretty good at that, and, and we've seen him get takedowns. We've seen him play real smart games in the past, so I don't expect Elliot to make any uh, mental mistakes. It's just a matter of can he physically, does he have the physical skills that he needs to defeat someone like Yuri. Yuri is on a, on a good pace here, and he's tearing, he's been tearing through his opponents. And you can see they're both kind of filling each other out on their feet. And it's crazy, Samir Chantre, who just won his division, is the referee now. <laughs> and let's see uh, if either of these guys try to pull guard. I would not be surprised to see Yuri go for that inside leg trip. Does Elliot Kelly pull guard here? Uh, maybe. I, I think Elliot Kelly is going to look for some type of throw or takedown, and he's doing it on the corners in case uh, there was a failure. He could kind of bail out, get a reset. So what you're going to see, Yuri is really good with the judo takedowns, and Elliot Kelly chains with Yamasa, which is half of that school is judo. So you're going to see you're going to see a little bit of a stand-up more unless somebody breaks and gets uh, irritated with it and goes for, goes for a guard pull. And you see Yuri do a nice little, like, a... Uh, Sacrifice throw attempt to a back a back attack, resulting in a scramble and takedown. Uh, two for Yuri Samoas. Yuri is such a beast. When when you watch him out there, he's so strong, athletic. He's so tech. And look at that! Oh my God, yeah, that he, is raw power right there. He is. And just to give you guys a little heads up on what's going to happen after this match, we're going to go back to the finals uh, between Kashino and uh, Vitor Pachau, and then after that, we'll, we'll jump back over to the round robin uh, bracket here. It'll be Manny Diaz against uh, whoever loses this match here. Right now, Yuri is up by four points, and there's about eight minutes left. Elliot Kelly has a deep half guard, and he's you, got a lapel. You don't want to be down in points when you're fighting a competitor like Yuri Samoz. Seen, you know, we're seeing a little bit more of a physical game from Yuri than yeah, we did before. Yeah. I mean, just a, a attempt to like a like almost like a Greco style uh, bump and slam, you know, which is weird when a when a easy it's a lot easier to do a back foot trip and know end up in the same position. You know? Yuri, Yuri taking a deep breath there. How important is it? Do you say? Would you say, Ernest, to get points on the board right away in a, in a match like this? I, I mean, statistically speaking, the uh, first points usually dictates the outcome. You know. Yeah, and it puts you in a in a more comforting position where you could take risks, right? You might you don't right. have to play it as safe, right. and it kind of gets in your opponent's head, right? It it's not fun to get scored on early in a match. Yeah. You get scored you get scored on uh, right out the gate. You know, seven minutes thirty six seconds is a lot of time to make up four points, but you can't afford to give up more points. So your your mindset is a little bit different. It's like okay. I can make up these points, but I better not give up anymore. So how can you be conservative about and not get scored on while trying to attack and, and make up the deficit? So that's how it plays with your head. So getting that, that advantage right away, it sets, it sets a tone. Like, oh, I got breathing room, like Tim said. You know? It's almost like a, a football game. And you, when you score a touchdown, then you start running the ball and running out the clock and staying ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Puts right. you in control of the pace of the game.
and, and we could see that Yuri, he, he is in control of the pace of this match. He's been the bigger, kind of uh, more, more aggressive uh, opponent so far today that we've seen. And, and in this match, he's definitely been more aggressive than Elliot Kelly has been. Um, and his footwork was really nice on the back take. So it'd be interesting to see if Yuri kind of goes into a more cautious mode or no, he right jumps into right into pool. the triangle. I can see, uh, you know, I can see maybe Yuri's a more aggressive physical game wearing on him towards the end, you know? I mean, just depending on what he's been doing for conditioning, has he been incorporating more I, I've seen him resistance take a few training? deep breaths, too, as well. He has, and what happens is you're doing those, like, uh, those high-velocity takedowns, trying to bump and lift somebody. Um, that, that goes into anaerobics. You're going from aerobic to anaerobic, and you're going back and forth, and if you haven't been training for that, which I'm sure Yuri has, I mean... It, yeah, I mean, he just came off the world. I, I think mean, he's pretty conditioned and ready to go. Yeah, if you're, I mean, just, if you don't believe me, try to lift the dead, you know, do a pretty heavy deadlift and then run around the block. Yeah, it's not easy. I mean, it's just like, just one single deadlift can make that run harder than if you didn't, you know? So we got about six minutes left. Yuri is in the blue gi, Yuri Samoz from Kaotera Association, and he's going up against Elliot Kelly from Yamaso BJJ in the white gi. And Yuri is up by four points. This is the adult black belt pro division. These guys are over 208 pounds, this is the unlimited. This match is slowing down a little bit considering how hard they were going at it earlier. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, and Yuri goes for a, uh, almost like a drop Seonagi attempt and Elliot it manages to stave off the throw attempt. Elliot is still very much in this match. He's only four points down and you got over five minutes to go and Yuri taking another deep breath. Yeah, Yuri's being extremely physical here. Um, Elliot Kelly's kind of an older dude, so he's kind of like knows how to kind of just hang out and be conservative and and move just a little bit more efficiently. I think Elliot should start pushing the pace a little bit. I think Yuri might be a little bit tired. I think Elliot, Elliot maybe he's a smart dude, so I could see him like letting letting Yuri, you know, and there's the inside blow it out. There it goes. That's the and last thing that Elliot needed right it, there. We've seen that inside leg trip from Yuri time and again. It's, it's, yeah, he'll do it's it like, like his five bread times and butter. In a match, yeah. yeah. And let's see if Elliot's guard can hold um, Yuri off. You see Elliot is digging under for that worm guard lapel style just about. He's what, got his leg deep. He's got his right leg up. What makes that uh, takedown so effective with Yuri is that he goes right. He already has a guard passing system that he goes right into from it. He's super fast in it, and you can see Yuri is setting up the collar. He's grabbing Elliot Kelly's left collar or left lapel. He was trying to feed it around, and I think he's going to end up on his back here. Elliot is digging himself a hole right now. Yeah, and Yuri does end up on the back, and you can see Kelly immediately pushes the hook out, but Yuri's got the collar, and Elliot Kelly's in some trouble, but he does manage to escape. Nice job, and he may come up with a single. And he'll come up with a single here. out of now. He really could have used a, a takedown right there. Now, smart that was strategy. a real smart strategy from Yuri. From Yuri. Yeah. He, he did not, instead of going onto the mat space, he actually kind of stayed back and he didn't took risk two that two hop steps point. backwards and then yeah. got him out of bounds. That was brilliant. He gets to tie his belt, take a breath. Take a long, deep breath. We got four and a half minutes to go. Elliot is still in this match, though. He, if he can hit a takedown and get some points on the board, he can get right back in it. It's almost like being down three touchdowns and scoring one and getting back. There he nice. goes. There he goes. And he gets to take there that. You can see Nagi. Kelly. Oh. Nope. Wow. Yuri gets a Tomanagi reversal. Nice. Very nice. That was nice. Yeah. He's going to pick up two, two points. That's got to be real discouraging. discouraging. Yeah, discouraging. Right. If you're Elliot Kelly, you basically got a double leg and you got it reversed into a Tomanagi. He desperately needed that takedown right there. Ernest, what's going through Elliot Kelly's head right now? I think Elliot's pretty smart. He's got four minutes. He's really got 40% of the entire match left to make up eight points, and I think he's pretty smart. Uh, it's You know, you can't count Elliot Kelly out. He's a game competitor. He seasons. He, he's older. He's got more experience. You know, he, what he's going up against right now is just uh, age and athleticism. You know, they got comparative skills. Yuri's got, you know, he's, he's a little bit younger and more athletic, and that's, you know, what would really help? What would really help him is another ten minutes. I mean, in all honesty, Yuri seems to be one step ahead of him in all these exchanges. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's faster. He, you know, and he, he probably competes a lot more than Elliot yeah, Kelly. You, you know, you don't see Elliot Kelly traveling across America to do it. He's a he's a guy with family and a career. You know. And it looks like Yuri is going to get this pass here, putting a lot of pressure coming through 
low with hip control. That's a lot of pressure right there he's putting on him. How, notice how low and how based he is. Kelly may give up the back. It's it's just it that kind of pass puts you in a really bad spot because the, really the only way out of the pass is the turtle and a, and a lot of times when you're trying to affect that pass you're waiting for the turtle. Yeah, I mean it's a lot of pressure, man. And let's see, he's got the pass points. He's up 11 to zero, and Elliot Kelly is um, in a world of hurt now. You see, Yuri's got a nice cross face on Kelly. And he's going to pull that over his head. And, and he goes to the mount. Is that Yuri, a mount? Yeah, Yuri yeah, goes right the to the he, mount. Ben, he just, Yuri has been 100% dominant thus far. What's really cool about Yuri's game is that his most of his uh, training partners are small guys, and they favor more of a lightweight style of passing and pulling guard. Um, and Yuri has managed to maintain his individuality with being a pressure-style passer and aggressive on his feet. Yeah, you know, and how do you do that when you're the only, you're probably the main one who right. does all that? You know. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's a good point, Ernest. And and you know, he's up by 15 points he's right pitching now. Pitching a shutout as well. And, and 19 points, and he's on top of Elliot Kelly. He's he's on the back. He's feeding the collar. Kelly is in a, a bad bad situation, and Kelly may be going into Elite. I'm just trying to survive mode. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't mean that Kelly's not dangerous, but Yuri really is uh, in complete control of the match at this point. Yeah. Possibly looking for a clock choke if Elliot makes a, a wrong mistake of uh, turtling up from here. You know, it could save uh, uh, Kelly is he can't, is at a Kimura attempt. Uh, Yuri Samos keeps putting the arm across his body uh -huh. to flatten him out. I mean, I, there's guys at our gym, even at the blue belt level, if you put your arm across the body like that, they'll snap up that Kimura really quick. And I think what it is is that uh, Samoa is in his head so much that he's more concerned with not getting smashed anymore. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you really, if you're Elliot Kelly, the only way you're going to win this match is to get a submission. It's the yeah. only way you're going to win the match. And with a minute and a half left, you got to really take some big risks to right. get that submission. Like, you got to go for broke. And really, what's the risk? I mean, points are points. <laughs> yeah, you know? you're already losing. Yeah, I mean, this is like the difference. This is a points tournament, so yeah, you're gonna lose. But you know, if this was a, a submission only, it, the, the match would be even. Yeah, you can see he's attacking the feet, and Yuri is still on that collar, and he's got he's got the tap. Wow, what nice. a dominant performance by Yuri Samoa! Yeah, a shutout. He basically just pitched a perfect game. Yeah, that was a real nice job there. 19 to zero. You see, he walks away with the lead. He, he you know, 19 to zero with an advantage, and he got the submission. Right, that's basically Amazing a really great day at the office right there. What What are some of the things, Ernest, that right. Yuri did right? You know, uh, Yuri Samoa just came and imposed his will on everybody. You know, he's he's now the guy that you have to look out for. You're the guy to recognize.